Hello everybody. Hello, good morning. <coughs> You're right, well. Mm -hmm. Well, um Well. Not too bad. I've had your lunch set. Been <coughs> coughing stuff up this morning, aren't I, Pat? You have. Which is good. Mm. Get it off your chest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not I mean I have got off lightly really. Yeah. I thought I'd be laid up for you know, worse than this by Thursday. Mm. I've got to get you better for Saturday because Mick and Jane are meeting up with them, aren't we? Yeah. Um, mm. And then Sunday we're meeting up with Busy weekend, is it? Busy, busy because then we're we're off then on Monday. Mm. Uh, so I needed to be fit. Talk us now, Tess. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go up with it all. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Compass Mentus. Compass Mentus, is it? Yeah. All right. Something like that. What's going on? It pe top pension's taking its time going up, isn't it? But... I thought I'd have got my increase on Monday and yours today, but I haven't. Okay. You haven't, no. Oh. I thought I thought we were gonna Yeah. Get us Yeah. And speaking of money mm. you might be interested to I I did my tax returns to this week while I was in bed. <laughs> Give me something to do. <laughs> I still do um self assessment thing. <clears throat> um the only the only thing on it is my pension. Um but there's a, a I, I since I started YouTube that uh, I have bits of income that I get from um from YouTube, Patreon and odd, odd book that I sell. Hmm. Well, you might be interested to know that it added up in the last 12 months to £1,562. £1,562. Um, That's pretty that good. We earn from YouTube, you know, advertising <coughs> income from YouTube, Patreon. I only have. A little bit from bit. that, don't you? Yeah. 12 quid a month or something on Patreon. Um, and then an odd book here and there that I've sold. <coughs> hmm. So there you go, that's that. Chickens. Well, yeah. Ah. They don't want you to have chickens anymore. World just Health. Have... Organisation W H O. Yeah, and these global boffins that are telling us how we to, how we have to live. Yeah. They've said now that you have to have a license if you want to keep a chicken. If you've got chickens, you've got to have a license. Yeah. Because of bird flu. They come up without, don't they? I mean, people have kept chickens for years, Don't centuries. Me. I mean, oh, sort of when yeah. they lived in little straw ruts where people had chickens. People lived in straw ruts, did they, Pat? <laughs> in your world. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever they lived in. <coughs> Those little boffy, boffies are all. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of land and a, and a pig or some chickens. Well, we did that. Catch yourself. Yeah. We did that when we moved to Waddingham. Yeah, we did. We had a pig, a sheep and some hens. Yeah. Didn't Don't we? ever keep a sheep on its own. No. Don't ever have one no. sheep. Do not. Drive your nuts. 
I mean, a chicken lives all right on mm. its own. They were all right. Yeah. But not a sheep. It constantly baths all yeah. the time. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. The social animals, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that's that. And I didn't know that we gave money to France to keep the, so that the police can police the shoreline to keep immigrants from coming from France over to England. And it's a lot of money that this, what's his name, who's Prime Minister? Little Richie Sunak. Yeah, Sunak arranged with them and they apparently what they do is they drive up and down but then it showed you all these immigrants about 50 of them all walking down the road walking down to the beach um no police anywhere at this particular time they could have just turned them round sent them back to the wherever this not in their interest is it why should they yeah but they've been paid all this money to keep them <laughs> from crossing water yeah and this they get down to this shoreline and uh, uh, there's a boat comes along and it's already pretty full and then they they get into this more of them get into this boat and um sorry Pat. Um, it's just absolutely crazy and what they're doing is because these police are driving up and down the shoreline at some time they, they're they getting on in, in canals rivers and, and travelling down to sea and I mean it showed you a load of them that were just covered in mud because the boat had capsized in thing and they were knee deep in mud and with kids and everything. Apparently a little kid had drowned. There. And they watched it news were you? Yeah, I watched a bit of news last night. I thought we're giving them all this money and they still can't do a job. Yeah, just trying to wind you up. Hmm. Uh, I thought, hmm. So that's what well, all, that's all what's going does. on the other side. That's what's going on mm. the other side. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Um, I heard that Poland don't have any. Don't have any debt. Right. Don't have any immigrants, illegal immigrants. Mm. I think it was Poland. I don't know where I heard that. Mm. Mm. What else to say, my love? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's uh, that's there's not it. a lot, or not a lot been happening because I've no. been, well, there's not a lot that happens anyway, really. No. Uh, no. It's been a long job with it. It's been this school holidays. I didn't know they had a fortnight. I thought they only had a week. Oh, fortnight. Alethea's had. Mind you, as it happens, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have been fit to go off you on Monday. Would I? No, last Monday, no. No, this Monday. This Monday gone. Because this is the second week yeah. of the holiday. Yeah. They were, they were off last week. Yeah. Uh, and they're off this week. I didn't they, know that... It varies in different areas, don't it? Some of them have already gone back. Right. Have they? Yeah. But it makes yeah. no difference, you know, because people travel. Hmm. Just because they've gone back in one area, don't mean there won't be any kids there. No. No. Oh. And Ellen's not, not gone off. She stayed 
in the camper, in our little camper, and Carl's gone off in motor home. How is it? On his own. Oh. <clears throat> You're in holidays. Oh. Where's he gone? Well, she didn't say. Didn't tell me. Right. Okie doke. In our Ella. Right. Hmm. Um. Anything else going on on, on the uh, on the van front? Oops, excuse me. On our van front. Mm. Uh, I don't anybody's. watch. You don't watch many people in the UK. Um, Stephen Lawner is um, from um, Wandering by Choice. They've been in Telford. Iron Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's nice over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was quiet. Iron Bridge. And... In Iron Bridge. Was it? And they were there, yeah. Wow. Hmm. This Rooskery. Oh, and I watched, we watched um, By the Curb. Yeah. They were in York. And that was, oh, that it was Bank busy. Holiday Weekend. That were horrendous. <gasps> Gosh, I've never seen as many people in York. No. It were like old days in Leeds. Yeah. You know, on a Saturday when it used to be packed. Yeah. And you were like shoulder to shoulder. Mm. It were like yeah, that. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I remember that. My aunt, my mum and a sister, Ethel. Ethel and Edna. Yeah. They're the old fashioned names, aren't they? Mm. <clears throat> they used to go to Leeds on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Um, Did Brenda used to go with them? Brenda? No. Not that I know. Right. No, they, they religiously. My dad used to go watch Leeds if they were at home. I don't think he went, I don't think he went to many matches away when they were away from home. I think no. he watched them when they were playing at home. My mum used to go with him sometimes. For a period she did, yeah. yeah. Not, not, the, the routine must have changed. Mm. Um, but I remember, I remember going into Leeds on a Saturday afternoon with my mum when I was a kid. And it, it was, it was rammed. Yeah. 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 Isn't it funny? It's changed. Our, our memory sticks. Yeah. I, I can remember going up the escalator in Lewis's. Yeah. And looking over the side uh, at people looking in. Uh, I think it was perfume and stuff that, that you know, that glass. Were on, um, <clears throat> wasn't that on oh. fir first floor? They had a ground floor and a, an upper floor, didn't they? Second floor. She used to finish up. They used to sell food. I think that were on the ground floor. All right. <coughs> yeah, there were a cafe. <coughs> and she used to buy some of My mum bought specific things from specific places. And she'd she'd go and buy some of me to some of from there. Right. But she'd always finish up at market <laughs> and and buy Specific things in the market, uh, veggie, vegetables. She always, she always finished up later because they, they were trying to get rid of stuff and the mm. bring price down. Yeah. And then the bus stop was just outside the market. Yeah. Back, back to Armley. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I can remember that. Used to sell bags of meat and it would have um, different things in it for a, say, a fiver or three pound or something. They used to be very poetical. Yeah, when they were shouting it out. <laughs> yeah, they did. They used to compete with each other, mm. didn't they? Yeah. You had, <clears throat> um, in market, you had, you had a, 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 an area up at top that sold all sorts. There were flower stalls. Um, there were um, 
flower stalls and um, haberdashery and bread stalls and things like that. And then down one side would be your meat market with your butchers on both sides at, at passageway. And on the other passageway at the other side would be eggs and chickens, you know, your fowl, your rabbits. And a pet shop at the bottom. Yeah, <coughs> pet shop at the bottom. But other, other stalls in the middle of them, weren't there? Yeah. Um, My mum would finish up in... Pet shop at the bottom because we had budgies <laughs> in a cage and she used to get budgies and, and millet. Yeah, millet yeah. and long millet. And it was a, 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 a narrow wedge shaped shop at the bottom of the market, what pet shop. And they had all sorts of cages hung up from ceiling. Mm, different ones. And then mm. you went outside and the yeah. yeah. um, outside stores. Outside stalls. market. And there used to yeah. be a bloke. And he, he used to sell dinner sets, dinner service. You know, it would be a massive plate for cutting meat on. I still got it. And then he'd have, wow. It's in that cupboard. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've just brought that because he'd put them all on his arm. He'd have them up his arm here. A complete dinner set. What, what with everything? Yeah. Um, on, yeah on his yeah. arm. And we bought... We bought this from him. That were a complete dinner set. Um, <coughs> we bought it in 1970 when, when I come out of the army. So it's this country style. Um, and engraved by W.H. Grindley and England. Company, Staffordshire, England. Detergent and dishwasher. Proof. I wonder what that little red cross is. I don't there. know. Show up back of it. <laughs> Hold it up straight up. That's it. Yeah. That's what it's like on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't, what did we pay? I probably paid some ridiculous. I think it was six pounds. Six for quid. What? Some for all dinner set. Yeah. Yeah. Soup plates, dinner plates. And we've got a couple of soup dishes. And the dinner plate. And the big dinner the plate. The big meat and, plate. Yeah. Left. I think there might be one normal plate. Is there? Because we gave it to our Tracy, didn't we, when... What, the set? When, yeah, well, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Mm, well, yeah. That's, we've had that since 1970. Yeah. Yeah, 1970. There's a couple of them still... Hanging about. Isn't <laughs> 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 that a shame? There ain't more. He used to say, I won't be here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be here today and gone today if I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm going to have to get washed up and feed her. Because Pamela said she'd be here at 11. Right, we've got that, Pamela that coming. Been, that was a bit of a surprise. Because I rang her and she said she'd come across today. And then she rang me back and said, Thomas wants to meet up. Can we meet up for lunch on Sunday? So I said, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So I, I assumed that that was the day I was going to see her. And she won't come in today. And then I got a message last night saying to get the air dryer out and, and some wax she's going to do my hair. And I thought, that means she's coming today. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a bit of a shock. A good I didn't realise she was coming. A good job you get you feeling a bit better. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. I so. to stay out of where... We better end the video then. Yeah, because she'll be here in 20 minutes. Right. Have to wash up and do her. Okay, so. alright, folks. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye.